Hi, I'm Sally and this is the tutorial for my scarecrow design. You will need brown bands for his hat and for the stick, sort of tanny strawy colour for his face and his hands, some yellow bands to make like the straw hair, um, a colour for his dungarees, which I've used blue, colour for his shirt, two black bands for his eyes and then whatever colour you want his shoes to be as well. So let's get started. So taking your loom in a staggered configuration, place it sideways. There, the coming off. there we go. And we are going to take a single brown band, place it roughly in the centre of your loom on the top row. Then taking two brown bands, we're going to place them diagonally but we're going to do it quite steeply. So it's like this. So instead of just going normally diagonal, which would be to here, we've gone from here to here. We're going to do the same the other side. Oh, that one's all curled up. There we go. So you're going quite steeply. There you go. And then we're going to go along the centre from this pin all the way along. We're going to go down three times with double brown bands. The bands I'm using are not that great, I have to admit. Colour wise, they're lovely, but they're sort of jelly type um, brown bands. I'm not overly keen, to be honest they're not great and then we're going to go again a steep diagonal to make a diamond shape so we're doing this along the bottom and like that so this is what you should have we're going to place a cap band here on this point on this pin. I don't know what brand these bands are by the way. I have absolutely no idea. If I did know I wouldn't buy them again. But anyway, we're doing the trick for now so that's all that matters. And then taking double bands again, we are starting from this centre pin here and we're going to go along three going outwards this way and three going outwards this way but starting from the centre pin and working backwards so that when we loop them up they all catch properly and we don't end up with any loose bands And then I'm going to place a cap band on the end here. And now through the other way. If I didn't mention before, just in case you wonder what we're making, so I can't remember whether I said or not, this is his hat. So you know. So you don't have to do a brown hat, you could do whatever colour hat you wanted, but I'm trying to do a sort of traditional scarecrow type colour. So and there we go. So this is what you should have. So you should have like a big diamond in the middle with the three bands going along. These are all two bands but three lots of bands and then you've got three bands go three lots of bands going this way and capped and then from the center again three lots of bands going this way and capped it's going to take one more band and in the center of the diamond we're going to make another diamond so like a triangle band but a diamond to hold it all together so that's going here and down to the bottom 
And once you've done that, you can loop up. So I'm going to start with the brim of the hat and I'm going to loop in from this cap band, I'm going to loop to this point and then from this cap band I'm going to loop back to this point again before I do the um, diamond. And I do apologise if you can hear noisy children in the background. This is them being quiet so you can imagine what it's like when when they're being noisy. But there we go. Hopefully you can't hear them. Going the opposite way is quite difficult because you haven't got the groove there to sort of help to guide you as such. You have to sort of reach around to get them but it's doable. So, I've looped this side, cap to centre. Can I do this side now? No, sorry, I've done that side. Goes to show how much I'm concentrating. I've looped up the brim <laughs> without even realising. So, there we go. I'm going to do the diamond. So, I'm going to start at this point here and I'm going to go out. Am I going to go out? See, my brain has completely frozen. Just double check this. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go from the cat. We'll start from the cat band. And no, we won't start from the cat band. I do know what I'm doing. I promise you, I do know what I'm doing. My brain has sozzled. It's just been one of those days. And as far as going making loom band scarecrow hats goes, my brain has just given up. So I've done this side here, out to here. I'm going to do this side out to here, like I said originally. Okay. Now I'm going to loop up along the center. So I'm reaching through all the bands and I'm just getting the top two bands. So on this pin here where we've placed the cat band, you'll have the bands from the bands going from this pin to this pin and you'll also have bands going from this pin to this pin. So the top two bands should be your horizontal bands, the bands that are going along the centre. So you just want to get those two like so. I'm just looping along the centre now. And then we're going to go back to this cat band here. We're going to go in and round the pin and looping out here and then the last one. So we're going to the other side finding the bottom two bands and then we're looping up to that centre point where the loose band is. Like so. So this is what you should have. We're going to take this band here that is just hanging loose. Take your hook down through the pin. Find that single band. Bring it up and round place your hook on the end if you can see the bands are quite there you go and we're going to take the top band over the over this band the second band the lower band and over the end of your hook to make a slip knot put it as tight as you can and then we're going to remove it from the loom Straighten it out, pull out the sides from the brim, adjust the top part of the hat, and this is what you should have. It does curl slightly, so you just have to give it a little tug and straighten it out. But effectively, this is what you have. If 
you can see like that we just need to tuck this band that we used to tie it off with away so I'm just going to find two bands at the back of the hat and two more just slightly further up take your hook through them so as you can see put the bands on the hook I'm going to take this band here and I'm going to pull it so it goes underneath those bands tug it through because these are jelly bands they slide off of each other more and it pinged back so I'm just going to do it again so there we go so it's all neatly hidden at the back so once your hat's all done and it looks like this I just lift it up so that it should look like this to place it to one side we're now going to take our loom again we are going to make his the straw for his hair so we're going to do these bits here and also the bits that sort of stick out of his arm his sleeves and the bottom of his trousers so I'm going to use yellow bands for this so you want to take three yellow bands all together and stretch them around two pins like so we're going to do this a total of eight times if you want more straw less straw this gives one bunch on each on each sleeve and on each leg and then two either side of his face so if you want it if you want more then obviously make more but this I think it looks it's enough you don't want too much straw but it's entirely up to you and to your taste so I'm going to make another two. So, um. Like so. So you've got eight little bunches of three bands. Like this. And then we're going to take a single band. And you're going to thread it through. I'll show you with my hook, but I'm going to use my fingers. You're going to thread it through so it comes underneath this bit and through and then you're going to knot it. So for instance, it comes through like this and then you're going to slip knot like we just did on the hat. So you'll end up with it knotted like this. I'm going to do the rest using my fingers because I find that slightly easier. entirely up to you however you feel most happy and most comfortable doing it again these are these are sort of jelly bands and I do prefer to use a sort of normal kinds of bands I find jelly bands are more slightly more fragile and they break easier but maybe it's just the bands I get maybe generally jelly bands are really good yeah, I don't know what brand these are. I know they're not very well known bands. They're sort of a bit of an unbranded brand. So. I'll stop whinging about my bands now. And this method, I will also say, because as I always say, I don't take credit for other people's work as far as I'm aware. The way of doing this kind of the hair this way I actually got from another design that I did that was by uh, Marlene's Creations on her animal design and it's the same if you've done that design then it's it's the exact same way of doing his hair just not so much of it but it does work well as straw doing it this way so that's where I got the idea for this anyway but the rest of it's my idea. Just this 
way of tying the hat. Tying the hair. And once they're all tied and they're all knotted, you can just take them off and you'll have little bunches of three bands that look like that. And you can just place them to one side just for a moment. It's just easier to do when you've got nothing on your loom. So I'm just placing these all out of the way. So again, taking your loom, we're going to make all the little bits that we need to add on and then we can just make the design in its entirety. So we're going to make his arms now. So you will need to decide on which colour you're going to do his shirt. So in this one I've done dark green. I'm going to do orange in this design. They're sort of a mango-y sort of ish colour, sort of the orangey mango-y colour I guess. So I'm going to be using orange for my shirt as I've said and you'll need also a sort of whatever colour you're using for his face to do his hands with. So whatever colour you're doing your shirt, again these are jelly bands so we'll see how these work. I haven't actually used these bands before so hopefully they're good. But if they break, they break. Okay. So with your shirt colour, you're taking two bands and you're going down three times with your shirt colour. These have got slight shimmer to them as well, I think, actually. I do like the colour. It's quite sweet. And then of your the colour you're using for your hand, I'm using this sort of tan colour, which I think is quite good for a scarecrow. And I'm going down once with that colour, and you're also taking another one of that tan colour or whatever colour you're using, and you're just going to cap that off, like so. Yes. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. So, going down three times with the shirt colour, using two bands together. Ooh. And then you're going down once for the hand, and then capping it off with that same hand colour. So you've gone down a total of four times and then capped it, like so. I don't know how well you can see that orange is not a very good colour on camera at all, but you can see the, the tan colour. We're going to loop up. So, taking your hook, you're going inside the cap band, pushing it back, taking the bottom two bands and looping forwards. Doing this up the rest of the arm. And again, in through the cap band. And looping up, looping up again. Bands are doing well so far, so, so far so good. And we're gonna place these. You can place them at the end of the loom if you wish, or you can add them onto a holding hook. I'm gonna place them onto a holding hook just because I find it easier just to have them out of the way to one side so I just have a plastic hook that came with my bands and I find they're quite good for holding things for a little while and it makes use of them so just throwing them away so there we have, if you can see there, the two arms. I'm going to place them again to one side. And we've got one more thing to make before we start on the body. We need to make the stick that he sits on. So we're just taking double brown bands, if you can see. And we're going down six times. Slightly, and at least bands have all stuck together 
are being an absolute nightmare. So there we go. And then cap it off. So single band wrapped around the pin three times, like so. I'm just going to loop it up. So again, pushing the cap bands back. Oh, looping up. Remove this from our loom, stretch it out again, so it's just like that, not very exciting. And again, just going to add this onto the holding hook with the arms, and now I've just realised we haven't added the straw into the arms. Oh, I'm silly, I'm silly. What I will do, in which case is I will show you how to make the arms with the straw in. I am ever so sorry. I com completely forgot. So I'll quickly show you now. And then it's entirely up to you whether you want to make them add the straw in or not. So lay out like you just like you did previously. So you're going down three times, one of the hand colour. And all you need to do with the straw is take one of your little bunches and wrap it around this pin here. So it's going between the sleeve and the hand. So on the pin where you've got both colours, wrap it around here. So one, wrap it around. I'm going to go four times and then loop up. So I'm going to do one with and one without to save boring you and making another arm. So just pull them out of the way and loop up. I am so sorry about that. Okay, and then you will find it looks a bit strange at the moment because you've got these massive loops hanging out of the hand but it's all good we'll trim it alternatively possibly you could wrap it around your existing ones but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it but that's how you do the hand so you have the straw sort of poking out of his sleeve and I'm going to try and make my brain work now so that I don't make any more stupid mistakes so we're going to make his body so taking two of your tan coloured bands whatever colour you're using for his head place them so that over this pin just loosely place two bands again, this is all with double bands, two bands together, going diagonally, same the other way, and then we're going down each side three times with the tan colour or yellow or whatever colour you're using for your scarecrow's face. the other side so you've got the two diagonal bands and three down each side going four straight down the middle
and then we're going to close off this part by placing diagonal bands I'll show you with my hooks so my finger doesn't get in the way from this pin to this pin and then this pin to this pin and again that's two bands together so you have this we're going to make his eyes now so taking two single black bands and taking your hook we're going to wrap these black bands around our hook three times like so taking a single of whatever colour you're using for the face put it on the ends of your hook hold with your finger and slide those bands over the end of your hook and onto the band like so if you can see and we're going to place these across the second pin down on each side so it's going straight across your scarecrow's face separate them out and they should look like this there. and then taking your hook between these two bands in the center here you're hooking up the top the top band placing it over the pin above so it's there like that so you've got the pin that's going over this pin here the band sorry it's going over this pin here and now we're going to continue and make the rest of his body so again taking another two of the tan bands, we're placing these going straight down our loom so it's still attached to the body. On the sides here, so here and here, you want to use whatever colour you're using for your dungarees. So I'm going to use blue. You don't have to use blue, use whatever colour you want. And I'm going down on each side once for now. But so they're attached to the face. So as you can see, they're there. And those bands have crossed over, so I'm just going to uncross those. We're going to go down another one on each side with the blue. I'm just working out where the button's got to go, that was all. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't bypass that completely. Okay. Next down, we're going to place a single blue band on each side. So just one and one this side. We're going to take our hook, and I'm going to use gold because I think that's a really nice button colour. But you can use whatever colour you want and you'll also need two of your blue bands or whatever colour you're using for your dungarees. So we're going to take one of the gold bands, we're going to wrap it around our hook three times, same as we did with the eyes, bunch it up, take a blue band, place over the end of your hook, hold it on your finger and you're just going to slide those gold bands or whatever colour button colour you're using onto the dungarees colour. So it's like this, and you're placing this on top of the single band. Oops. Like so. We're going to do the same again for the other side. So, single button coloured band around the hook three times. Take your single dungarees coloured band slide the button band onto it and place on top like so so it should look like this we're going to go down a total of eight times with our blue so we've gone down three, so we need to go down another five, just with two blue bands together, double blue bands, however you wish to say to it. And we're doing that on both sides. So it's near enough, I think, down to the bottom except for one. 
And I have odd colour blue bands here, so I'm just going to put them in there. Don't know where they came from. So that should be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same on the other side. So you're going all the way to, down to your loom. And you're just missing the very bottom one because that's where his shoe is going to go. We're going to finish off the outside rows. So we're going to, I'm going to use black for his shoes. So you could use whichever colour you wish. I'm just going down to the bottom of the loom. So just going down once with double black bands. And then we're going to cap it off with the same colour for the shoes. So I've used black, so I'm using black bands to cap it off. It's so a single band, wrap round three times. Same on the other side, like so. Okay. Then we're going to finish through the centre row. So you've got your one tan colour. Then you want to add in one colour that you've used for your shirt. So mine was this orange colour. So place one of those there, then we're going to go down three with whichever colour you decided to do your dungaree, so I'm using blue. So that's two and three, like so. And then we're going to go to the bottom of our loom, so from your blue band all the way down, we're going to use brown and this will be the stick and then the rest of the stick will add on to this so this is what your loom should look like so you should have covered all of your loom completely like so we're going to add the stick on right at the bottom So take your stick, either on your hook or use your fingers, whichever way you find easiest. Just add them that on to the bottom centre pin, like that. I'm going to add on the arms, whichever way you've decided to do them. So I'm going to use this one that I've used the straw with, and then I might try one with it wrapped so I can tell you what I think, and see how it turns out. And the arms are going on the fifth pin down so one two three four five so it's just here so you've got your face finishes there you've got one blue band and then it goes on to this one here just wrap those bands around like that Right, let's try wrapping these bands around, see what it looks like. So I'm just swapping this over, placing it on this hook here. So let's see what we think of this. Might be okay. It's a slightly more fiddly way of doing it, but let's see how it turns out. There we go. So I just wrapped it round like a cuff around it and we'll see what it looks like at the end. Once they're all trimmed and looking lovely. So now we'll need to add on the straw for the feet and for the hair. So if we start at the feet, so you want to take two of your little clusters and we're adding these above where you started the shoes. So second pin up from the bottom, 
and you're just wrapping one of these same as we did with the arm you're just wrapping this around four times it's not easy I won't lie to you you just want to sort of cross it and then twist and place it round like so same on the other side so find whichever one is your tying band place it around there you can place it over the bottom pin the little loops if that's easier to hold it in place and just release them so there's my sort of straw here looking very odd but trust me it does look good in the end now we're going to do his hair so I'm going to add two of these on each side of his face and these are going to go on the very first pin on each side so you just want to add same as we've done with the feet just wrap it around four times and just sort of have one going down and one going out to the side or however you want it to be and a noisy aeroplane this does make the bands around this pin very tight but there's always ways around it so don't worry too much about it and last one So we have his hair on and it looks a bit a bit wild but it's fine so we're going to place on some triangle bands and then we're going to finish with placing on his hat so taking whichever color you used for your dungarees you are placing them so that you have it looped around this pin here and this pin here but so that both um, of the the middle bit of the band go around where you've got the stick so I'll try and show you so you put it around this pin here which is the fourth pin up from the bottom you bring it around that pin and then hook it over so if it was a triangle band it would be going straight across here but instead of being a triangle band you just loop both bits of band around this pin we're going to place a triangle band directly above that another one directly above that again same again above that and again and once more so in total with your dungarees coloured bands you've got the one that goes around the the pin at the bottom so including that one you've got one two three four five six uh, triangle bands on the body we're now going to move up and do the face and you will have two plus the eye band on the face and these bands so it looks like this these bands will hold your design together so instead of the column this side pulling out this way this column pulling out this way and the centre one just floating around in the middle they will all keep together they'll be more solid and that's why we have those on we need to add on the hat so to add the hat on it's a little bit fiddly and we have got to add them on, on top of the two pins where we've placed the hair so you'll need to push those down so you want to take two of the bands that are on the sort of inside brim part so if you can see there and we are stretching these over the pin like so I'm going to do this on the other side and then I'll show you 
so you just want to take two bands near the main part of the hat and loop them over the pin it may sit funny I'm going to change that actually so just do what you feel is right with this bit there's no set bands that you need to um, attach but it will sit oh that's come unhooked it will sit funny it's just completely just come off the hooks but that's fine so I'm just going to do that again it's one of those days with this isn't it it really is this will be fixed don't worry it's not just going to be sitting here it will be secured but it's just so they stay it stays on in place for now until it's looped up so there's the hat that's on and as you can see if I show you sort of the side there is a band if you can see if I do it this way it might be better but there is a brown band that's attached to the hat part of the hat that I've just pulled around so with two bands around this pin and around this pin so now we can begin to loop so going in through the shoe at the bottom, finding the bottom two bands and looping up, just pull these yellow bands just out to the side for now and you're just looping on top like so. In the centre you're going inside the stick and looping up. And then the other shoe is exactly the same as the previous one. So finding those bottom two bands, putting the loops out to the sides. Sorry, my arm is completely in the way. There we go. And you're going inside the straw, finding the two dungarees bands, and looping. Oops around and I'm going to carry on and I'm going to loop all the way up to the top of his dungarees so, so looping up so you're pushing all of the triangle bands just push them back with your hook they stay where they go you're only looping the bottom two bands when you get to the button just treat that like a normal um, normal set of bands just loop forward and you're going in through the arm and looping up. Same along the other side, so going in through the straw, finding those two dungarees coloured bands and just looping up. Do the centre now. So I'm looping up the stick. And when you get to the beginning of the triangle bands, just continue just looping forward like normal. So just getting the bottom two and looping forwards. Shirt coloured band and the tan or face coloured band. So now I've looped up his body. I'm going to do his face. So I'm going in through this pin here, which is, if I bring it closer to the camera, you'll be able to see where you've got these bands going this way. We're going in through this pin here. We're taking the top two bands. And I've worked out which the top two bands are on that side. So find your top two bands and then just loop them back and back onto the peg where, they, peg where they've come from. Same again, in through that same pin and top two bands, in again, last two bands and you'll have that fan shape like that, looping up Okay, 
Now I'm at the pin. Nearly. Sorry, I've got to loop one more. Now I'm at the pin where you've got the hair and the hat and everything. You want to push everything back and I appreciate that this is very tight. You want to take those two bands at the bottom and if you need to, take another hook, preferably a metal one, and you can run it around the inside of this pin to loosen up your bands and to enable them to stretch enough. So you just put it inside the pin and just run it around the in between the pin and the bands and it just, it just helps to loosen it. Okay, I'm going up the center. And I'm gonna to have to go underneath the hat. You can take it off of the other pin if you wish, which I think I might do actually, because that looks the easiest option. So you're just going, looping up like normal, and then you want to replace the hat. Okay, and then along the last side of his face, and looping up. Make sure his strawy hair is out of the way. Back in through all of this, pushing all of the bands back for his hair and everything. Get the bottom two bands of his face colour. And again, if you've got resistance on your bands, you can see here, there is resistance. It's quite tight. If I try and pull them, they will snap. So I'm just going to leave them around my hook. I'm going to take a second hook and I'm just going to run it it's not easy to do because they are very tight around the inside of this pin which then gives me a little bit more to work with and I can then loop over so once we've done all of that and we're looped up we can tie off so taking your double bands here Going in through this top centre pin, pushing back all of these bands here. Oh, you want to take those two bands and bring them around the pin as if you were looping them. And one of the bands has just pinged off of the hook. Okay, replace, replace the other band on your hook. And then you're going to take the top hook, the top pair of bands, over this band and over the end of your hook, and just let it go. Pull it as tight as you can. I think I'm still slightly caught on the pin actually, but we'll sort that out in a minute. Okay, and once you've tied it off, you can remove from your loom. any way you wish and I'll show you how to do the straw in a minute they won't be staying in big loops they'll need a slight trim Now we've got our scarecrow who's got a bit of a scrunched up face. So what we're going to do is the bands that you use to tie it off with, are sure they're tight, we're going to turn it so that you've got where the buttons have pushed through, you've got them on the back for now, because this way the hat is the right way around. Straighten out the hat. 
make sure your eyes are through so it's got a bit dark I don't know how well you can see straighten everything out push the buttons back through so if you do it while you've got it stretched it's a lot easier just pull them through there we go it's a lot easier to put the um, buttons back on the front than it is to maneuver the hat and this way everything looks right and then you'll need to take some scissors like so the loops where you've got the hair here just oops just cut them like that both sides and your fingers and if you're little then you might need a grown up to do this for you so just check that it's okay for you to use them and then on the on the arms it is definitely better with them being within the arm I think it doesn't look so good but anyway instead of just cutting the rings you want to cut across the rings to make them shorter so just taking your ring like that and just cut across same on the other one so you're sort of cutting the loops across the middle and then same on the feet seems a bit of a waste of bands but I think it does give a good effect it's not too many bands either and there we have our scarecrow he looks like this so I hope you've enjoyed making him Let's see if I can prop him up for you sort of please hit like and comment on this design let me know what you think of this design and of the tutorial uh, please hit subscribe to be notified when I bring out new tutorials it's the other one um, which at the moment I'm doing quite often I'm doing as often as I can um, I, have a fit, I have quite a few ideas that I'm trying to get on here for you to create I am on YouTube and I am on YouTube obviously I'm on YouTube I am on Twitter and Instagram um, at Sally's Looming if you'd like to find me on there you can make requests show me your finished designs or make any comments you wish to make I'm also on Facebook so if you search Sally's Looming one word you'll be able to find my group on there as well and again you can share pictures make comments anything you wish to do on there alternatively you can just comment under this video any way is good they will all get to me and I apologize once more about the slight mishap with the arms but we got there in the end it wasn't too catastrophic either so it was easily sorted um, so yeah, I hope you like the design, if you enjoyed making it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.